Today's EIA weekly nat gas storage report printed a bearish build of plus 68 BCF, although with a reclassification that added another 4 billion to make the net build plus 72 billion, which was larger than expectations near plus 64 billion, and also larger than the five-year average to increase surpluses to plus 366 billion cubic feet. Through the first 13 weeks of the injection season, natural gas inventories have increased by plus 1047 BCF, plus 68 billion bearish, versus the five-year average. This is the third weakest 13-week injection in the last five years. Looking ahead, analysts anticipated that hot high-pressure systems would dominate the southern, western, and eastern regions of the U.S. from July 7 to July 13. This would result in strong demand, with temperatures ranging from the 90s to 100s. Conversely, the Midwest and Plains were expected to experience comfortable weather with temperatures in the 70s to 80s, accompanied by showers. These conditions would lead to light demand in those areas. Additionally, more weather systems were predicted to move across the Midwest and interior Northeast in the following week. Gazprom CEO Alexei Miller accused Naftogaz of unfair actions, saying that, as a result, Russian state sanctions against Naftogaz were still a possibility. Such sanctions could mean Gazprom would be barred from making financial payments to Naftogaz for gas transit to Europe. Gazprom is contracted to transit 110 million cubic meters per day of Russian gas to Europe via Ukraine in 2023, or a total of 40 billion cubic meters. Russian pipeline gas now accounts for around only 8% of EU imports, compared with around 45% before the war in Ukraine in February 2022. The much lower Russian gas exports to Europe helped drive gas prices to record highs in 2022. So, if Russia were to stop the transit of gas through Ukraine, that would cause gas prices to skyrocket in winter once again. This is because the US LNG export can only cover a small fraction of the massive loss in the Russian gas supply. From a daily technical viewpoint, nat gas sentiment is currently neutral with a slight bearish bias. The market faces an immediate challenge at the main resistance area at $2.65 to $2.77, limiting potential upside movement. Overall, the market seems a bit uncertain right now, so it's a good idea to keep a close eye on any possible changes in how traders are feeling about it. However, if the market can't break through a resistance level, it might end up dropping into support at $2.54.